Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a daily, a general, daily general reading, energy reading, <laughs> yes, for Monday, May 13th, 2019. I hope everyone had a fantastic Mother's Day and a fantastic weekend. Yes. Um, Please keep in mind that energies are fluid and time is an illusion. So even though this reading is dated for Monday, May 13th, it is in fact timeless. Yes. All right, guys. Oh. Sorry. Mm. I need a little chapstick. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's just get straight to it. Let's see what we've got for today. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Monday, May 13th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. So I'm seeing a lot of different colors for today, but the main color that I'm seeing is this really bright yellow and a deep, deep blue. Um, yellow is communic well, yellow is the sun, it's illumination, it's your willpower, it's the solar plexus, it's joy, happiness, um, exuberance, success, optimism. Blue is a color of communication mostly i mean it's kind of like a it's a cooler color um so it's not as warm and active it feels very compassionate very loving very sincere very serene hmm, i wonder what all that could mean let's see guys i'm just gonna give this a few shuffles here communication is a big theme it has been a big theme for some time now there could be some of you that are coming to terms with needing to communicate, wanting to communicate. You might be, um, you know, getting, working up the nerve, the, the confidence, the balls, the cojones to like express yourself in some way. Uh, I'm seeing in the fool, I'm seeing the fool in my head. So there's some sort of leap of faith that someone is wanting to take. That makes sense. Yellow is a color of action. Um, action, willpower, taking the lead sometimes. One day, May 13th. I'm going to give this one more shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got for the day. Let's sip on some. Alrighty, kids. Monday, May 13th. What's going on today, Spirit? What would you like to talk about with us today? What would Spirit like to discuss with us today? Monday, May 13th. All right. Ah, you see? Yes. Eight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. So there is some sort of communication that's wanting to come through here. Um, I'll leave that. Take that with that. Okay. Underneath the deck is temperance. This is good. This is very, very good, guys. There is an energy of balance, of um, harmony, definitely balance and harmony, because you have here the six of pentacles that came out with the knight of pentacles and the eight of wands. You also have the moon child in reverse, okay? Moon child is a specific card in this deck. Um, Oh, uh, well, it's a it's a special card in this deck. Excuse me. And also, guys, keep in. Uh, I just want to let you know, I my allergies have been flaring up like crazy. So you're going to hear me sniffling a lot. You're probably going to hear me sneeze. I am so sorry if I blow out your eardrums with with my loud ass sneezing. Um, I'm going to do my best to try and warn you about that. If you're wearing earbuds, I don't want to destroy your ears. Anyway, with that said, um, 
The Moonchild card is one of uh, a number of unique cards in this deck. Now, the Moonchild card talks about the cycles of the moon and um, the cycles that we all go through and what we're learning from... Oh, boy. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. Okay. What we're learning from... <laughs> Sorry, guys what we're learning from these cycles, okay? With this being in reverse, I feel like there's you've there's a major cycle that has been, I'm gonna sneeze again. Mm. False alarm. <laughs> okay, but there's a major cycle that you've come out of, that uh, Spirit is saying that has been put to rest here, okay? We can look into what that is uh, more specifics later. And then we have, aha ha, yes, there is something that has been put to rest here. You have the Eight of Cups with Strength, okay? Now, the strength to put some sort of circumstance, some sort of situation, to rest some sort of cycle to rest for some of there's for some of you there's a great deal of communication that's coming in um that's wanting to that's wanting to come in okay that's balanced that's wanting to be balanced wanting to be in harmony i heard wanting to be in union okay but that would be the individual that the in, that, that most likely be the individual that this communication would be coming from um, <clears throat> I don't, I, I, I'm not sure it's happening just yet. Okay. It really, it entirely could be, absolutely could be. And you may experience some snippets here and there. Um, you know, it may, it, it may start out really small and as time goes on, as confidence is built, um, it becomes more and more. Now, I don't think, and now the reason why I'm saying I don't necessarily think it's going to happen all at once or at least all right now is because you do have the Knight of Pentacles and Temperance. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck, slow and steady wins the race. But here, this feels like a determined effort to make some sort of change, to communicate in some sort of way. This doesn't have to just be communication also. Um, that is the biggest thing that I was coming through here between the yellow energy and the blue energy that I was seeing. But the yellow energy is also giving me um, a feeling of taking some sort of action in some sort of direction that you desire to move in. And this could be a creative project. This could be business. This could be a relationship. Um, it, it could be anything. It literally could be anything. <laughs> Um, and there was a, there was a cycle, what Moonchild is representing here, there was a cycle where, um, that had been inhibited, whether you, you, whether communication had been inhibited between you and another person, because like, say if you were the person that was wanting some, some, some sort of communication from them, they were in some sort of cycle in which it kept, I guess they were feeling unworthy or they didn't whatever whatever the reason they weren't reaching out they weren't confident enough they weren't taking that step they weren't taking the leap of faith now i feel like that person is starting to come around is definitely starting to balance out with temperance um is starting to find their own new sense of alchemy and harmony here with moon child being in reverse this would be coming out of this uh this cycle of your life that no longer serves you really um having the strength to step out of your comfort zone, this person definitely is having, okay? That's, I mean, that's great. Um, Six of Pentacles, um, getting back what you have put out, receiving what you that which you have already put out into the universe. I do feel like someone wants to be balanced, wants to be in harmony, wants to be in a re reciprocal re situation, relationship. <laughs> And well, another message that's coming through temperance is that it's like I heard someone say it's time to set the scales right or set the scales balanced. So it's not necessarily it kind of feels like a justice situation. But here, instead of um, doling out karma here, we're we're creating it's like a it's a surrender. It feels like a surrender in the sense of creating some sort of harmony harmonic balance 
Whereas justice feels more, it feels a lot, a lot less emotional. Okay, it feels very cut and dry. I mean, it's an air energy, it represents Libra. Um, but it's about strict balancing and basically dishing out the karma and associated with that balance. But here, this feels like alchemization. This feels like karma being neutralized in order for two beings or two parts of yourself or maybe even multiple parts of yourself or multiple different beings for all of them to come together into one, into a one new alchemized product, alchemized compound to create a new symbiosis. I don't even think that's the right word, but that's literally, literally what I just heard. And I don't use, <laughs> I don't use that word. So maybe that's the right word to use in some certain situation. I don't know. Okay. This feels good though. This does feel good. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know when the next full moon is, but the moon child card could be talking about that. I don't know when. You guys let me know. You can leave it in the dis in the in the um comments down below. We're going to go with the clarification and we're going to use the epic tarot today. No. No. I really just want to use the golden universal tarot. I've been trying really hard like I used it last week cuz it was brand new. Um, I just love this deck so much, so I'm just going to use it. And my nails match. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So we're going to get some clarifies here. Uh, uh, uh. You know what? Okay, we're going to start at the top. Eight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. We've been saying that a lot lately. I'm gonna give this one more shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got. Just some clarification here. Eight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Some communication coming in, potentially. Please, Spirit, just some clarity. Okay, well, the Five of Pentacles just flashed me. <laughs> There's strength again. Okay, so someone is overcoming a sense of lack, um, rejection, not being good enough. I feel, yep, the Hermit. Ooh, with the Knight of Cups. Mmm. Oh, good Lord. Well, we've got the King of Cups here. Someone has gone through a transformation, a serious transformation. Um, King of Cups represents Scorpio. Uh, you could also be um, another water sign, Cancer or Pisces, but it doesn't have to be a water sign. All right. Okay. Well, also speaking of the signs here, we have Scorpio with the King of Cups, uh, Sagittarius with Temperance, Leo with Strength twice, the Hermit is Virgo. You could have a Pisces or another water sign in this Knight of Cups. You could also have another Virgo or another Earth sign in the Knight of Pentacles. But someone has gone through a serious transformation. They still could be in the process of this. I just picked that up. It, um, just because Moonchild here is reversed doesn't necessarily mean it's completely done with. But for what I'm channeling right now, the moon child in reverse represents coming out of a major cycle in your life, putting a major cycle to rest. And this really does feel like just kind of like learning the lesson or learning enough of a lesson within this cycle in order for you to now move forward in some way or in order for this person to now move forward in some way. They have really gotten the strength to follow their inner guidance, follow their inner light. They, they know more about themselves now. They understand more about themselves. They, they, they see more, potentially want to express more. 
Um, and then the Knight of Cups here is like that love offer coming through, that appreciation, okay? The, wow. So now we have, ooh, I thought there were only two more cards. There's a stack of them. Six of Pentacles has the Five of Cups, the Nine of Swords, Judgment, and the Seven of Wands. There's still a defensive layer here. Very interesting. So this Five of Cups is a central focus here. I'm getting kind of two scenarios. The first would be potentially that someone is afraid of losing something, even though they're being called towards letting go of something. Or they have already lost something in the past, this could, especially with the Five of Pentacles energy that flashed me while I was, <laughs> while I was shuffling for this um, clarity, this clarification. Uh, there is something from the past that has been keeping this person, or maybe it's even both of you, but it's been keeping this situation from moving forward because of some sort of loss. And with the Five of Pentacles, there was an energy of feeling lack, less than, not good enough, rejected, whatnot, whatever. This is this all feels from the past. And then you have this Nine of Swords here. There is, which is, okay, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. You have the Nine of Swords here, which is anxiety. And this really feels like fear of recreating whatever gave you or them this five of cups this regret remorse shame guilt loss inadequacy whatnot whatever um but judgment is here okay there's a resurrection there's a new there's a second chance there's a second chance that's around you guys okay especially and this is mainly for the masculine energy here because i and it's funny because i was going to say this before but i didn't um, this feels like the person that's going through this, this, um, ending of a cycle that wants to start communicating in whatever way that manifests is a masculine energy for the most part. Okay. And it's the masculine energy that's, I really kind of feel like they're coming out of the fog um, and they're starting to recognize what it actually takes to really hold down a good relationship solid relationship with someone and that actually could have a lot to do with friendships too like this person may have gone through a really tough cycle in which not only were romantic relationships a problem but so were friendships and it's almost as if this person it feels like this person is needing to relearn how to be in any sort of relationship whether it's just a friendship or not and it's so crazy because it's like they, it's like they've come out of it so strong, so emotionally mature, it's so connected with their emotions that they're just like kind of like I'm actually just ready to hit the ground running. I'm it's kind of what this feels like. It's really cool. Now also this could be you. Okay? Maybe you've been working on balancing your masculine energies and now you've gotten to a point where sufficient healing is happening and so now you can take action, move forward, whatnot, whatever. So let's um, look at what this cycle is. Let's get some clarity here. Moonchild in reverse, strength in the Eight of Cups. I almost don't want the King of Cups to go away. <laughs> I just want to like stare at him, but it's okay. It's okay, Eric. All right, here we go. Moon Child in Reverse, Strength, and the Eight of Cups. What is this that we're leaving behind here? Page of Cups, yes. With the, oh, look at that. There's that Six of Pentacles again. Mm -mm, y'all. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles. Okay. 
Underneath the deck is the Queen of Wands, y'all. Okay, so there is, there are two things coming through here. First of all, this Queen of Pentacles fell out and she was kind of being tossed away. Um, I feel there's a, okay, there's some sort of mother figure, parental figure, authoritative figure of the feminine energies, of the fem feminine um uh, disposition yes and some of you are leaving them behind what I'm getting here is someone for some this is a, this is a pretty specific situation now this could you could be dealing with a Capricorn you also could be dealing with an Aries or another fire sign Leo Sagittarius or another earth sign Virgo Taurus but someone is leaving their established way of being something that they've learned most likely from their mother or a parental figure from a nurturing caregiving type individual early in their lifetime they're leaving what they learned be, by behind in favor of something new in favor of what actually make it helps them feel passionate lively excited rather than just stable now i'm not 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 to doubt the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles can be very very passionate and whatnot whatever too but in this specific situation, it's like it's almost as if someone was with was with a queen of pentacles or was in a sort of energy in which uh, or was was interacting with counterparts, we'll say, in which they were just safe. They were in their comfort zone. Right. It was stable. It was grounded. But they but someone wants more. And would much rather go with what is exciting and fun and fulfilling rather than what's comfortable, okay? <clears throat> the Queen of Wands to me represents someone that really, that's something or someone that they truly desire rather than what is, I guess, acceptable or comfortable or the same old or whatnot, whatever, okay? You have the Six of Pentacles, you have the Page of Cups, and you have the Magician, all right? So you're really, this person, whoever this is, or maybe this is you, is really in touch with their, with their, with their emotions. They're really dreaming up something that would be way more balanced, way more reciprocal. Um... And that balance, that reciprocity also comes with them honoring what they truly desire, what they, what the, what they are really truing, truly desiring, which is a queen of wands or someone that's ex exciting, sexy, charismatic, whatnot, whatever, or a situation that's just enthralling. It's, it's riveting. It's fun. It's, it's, it's fulfilling on a passionate, spiritual, energetic, creative level, right? Here, the Queen of Pentacles is just like, and I hate saying this about her, but in this situation, it's just like the same old, same old. It's security. It's, yeah, it's stability, but it's not like you can't have that with the Queen of Wands. You know, you just have to express it differently. On the Moon Child Reverse, you have the Two of Swords. It's interesting. That two of swords keeps coming up. I need some more clarity on that. Because that doesn't make any sense. We keep doing this. Do you guys, you, are you guys recognizing this? There's a pattern here. We've been talking about this situation for some time we've been talking about how someone needs wants to communicate or needs to communicate um someone is overthinking a situation like crazy and so we start reading and things it looks like things are going in the right direction and then the two swords comes out i don't know what what is this damn two of swords <laughs> i mean i guess you're someone is still Overthinking the situation, indecisiveness, refusal to make a decision, un unable to make a decision. 
It could also be mental balance. Balancing out your mind and using, you, you uh, re, um, what is it? Relying on your intuition at this moment because what you see on the surface may not necessarily be what's truly happening underneath. One more shuffle, and then we're gonna see what this Two of Swords is. It's like, there you know that a cycle is ending. Now you may be putting a cycle to rest, but this other person here is just, ah, look, temperance is underneath the deck. Okay, patience, okay. You might, oh, oh. Okay, so what I was gonna say was either this other person is still going through some sort of transformation and is not reaching out, not communicating, not really making a decision, or you are going through... Huh. Or maybe you've gone through this situation, you've gone through a transformation, you're coming out of a cycle here and you're not really... You're not saying anything. This could, this two of swords really could just be someone keeping their information to themselves. It could be both of you, both sides of the equation. But the difference here is one, one kind of secretly sees what's happening. The other one is still trying to get up the confidence, I guess. Let's get some clarity on this, please, spirit. The Queen of Cups. Aha, yes, someone does know what's going on. And this is the counterpart to that King of Cups, but then something is crossing her. The Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, ooh, this is juicy. Page, not the page, the Knight of Swords, wow. Three of Wands, okay. All right, so this Two of Swords energy isn't as bad as one may think, okay? Um, now, just to recap, we have the Two of Swords that fell as a clarifier on the Moon Child in reverse here, okay? The Two of Swords is not as bad as it seems. Somebody is well aware of the counterpart situation because remember, we had the King of Cups come out first. Um, someone is aware of what's going on. The Queen of Cups is intuitive. And it's funny because she's the only other, the only other individual in the deck that is, that can rival her, that's actually better than her intuition only because, um, and it's only because of, you know, this is major arcana versus minor arcana, but the only, the only other individual that has strong psychic ability would be the high priestess and as i was channeling as i was figuring out what this two of swords meant for some of you i was seeing the high priestess and i was like oh well, wait this could be you balancing and using your relying on your intuition because with the two of swords here it's like you either refuse to see something or you can't see something because you see this woman is blindfolded and in this case it feels like someone is like okay well I know what's happening on the surface, but I also know what's happening underneath the surface. And I recognize that the two of them do not match. So I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just gonna stay here in my single status with the Nine of Pentacles crossing the Queen of Cups, knowing full well that this single status could be ending fairly soon. And it all comes with just a simple piece of communication. That's literally all that you're waiting for here. Just waiting for that communication, that high sign, that signal to say, let's get this started. Let's moving this along. Let's move this along, excuse me. And then underneath the deck, clarifying this two of swords, you have the three of wands. So first of all, you've, you're on the right path. I, I, I heard the last step has been taken. That's a pretty specific message. I don't know who that's for, but 
I think you'll know when you hear it. Um, it could also be the last steps are being taken for some of you. Last steps are underway. But with this three of wands here, number one, you're, you're on the right path. You've been on the right path the whole time. Number two, you're waiting for your ships to come in. Now here's the deal. I'm seeing this more from the, the feminine counterpart side, so from the Queen of Cups. Maybe there are some things that you could do to get yourself a little bit closer to that boat that's out there. And if you, I don't know, I don't know how many of you have been following for that long, but the Three of Wands has been coming out, and I've been saying lately that it's about you know waiting for your ships to come in. Yes, but your ship is here you're on the dock or you're on land and the this, this ship is out on the shore so instead of just waiting for the crew to get here to the shore you could grab a rowboat and get on out to that boat you know what i mean so maybe there are some things that you could do but in other cases you're just waiting for that co that co communication well, everything's going well though okay all right so we're gonna get some Oracle Guidance now, and I'm going to go to the Whispers of Love to get some advice in this situation. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is, in fact, the same counterpart situation that we've been talking about last week, even, because I think it was last Tuesday... It was the day that I did the reading, but my mic went out like five minutes in and I had no sound throughout the whole situation, so I couldn't post it. But the King and the Queen of Cups came out together in that reading with the Two of Cups between them. Um, so this is the same counterpart situation that we're talking about here because the King of Cups came out while clarifying with the Golden Universal Tarot. And now we have the Queen of Cups with the Epic Tarot here, okay? Same counterpart situation. All right. One last shuffle here, and then we're just going to get some advice on how to handle this. All right, Spirit, please, best messages for how to handle this situation right now, please, Spirit. Ooh, I'm having trouble today. Why am I having so much trouble today? Here we go. Underneath the deck, you've got rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental fundamental need to take breaks. So allow yourself to do that. Especially if you're really going through a major cycle ending, allow yourself some time to rest and integrate the things that you have learned or experienced, okay? You have be willing to express love. When we express love, we begin to receive more love. This is the cycle that I feel like someone or two people are coming into right now, okay? Uh, for the masculine energy, that might be a little more difficult, but it's happening. You have miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. Romance, lavish the one you love with your personal attention and affection. And then you also have two more. You have demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. And then finally, forgiveness. Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. And this absolutely has everything to do with forgiving yourself for whatever it is you've been through. If you were in a cycle of mourning or, or self-pity or whatnot for a long time, forgive yourself. Like, allow yourself to come out of that free of any, any new guilt. You know what I mean? Just let go. Because you have a second chance. There is a there is another chance happening here with the uh, judgment card. Resurrection. Okay. Phoenix from the ashes, risen, if you will. All right. So now I'm going to close the reading with a crystal mandala card. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. 
best message, please, Spirit, to close out this reading today. Last shuffle here. Okay. Best message, please, Spirit, for today. There it is. Card number 23. Oh, wow. Ascended Master Jesus and Rosophia. Rosophia. Meaningful sacrifice. Now, this is a card of five. This is a number five. And that's a number of change, y'all. I love this color, too. Okay. We bring you the blessing of meaningful sacrifice. To manifest your divine destiny, there are times when want must give way to greater need. It may feel as though you are being denied the very thing that you yearn for the most. However, when meaningful sacrifice is being asked of you, there is a far more generous and loving reality at play. What is being denied now will ultimately create the opportunity for far greater gain. This doesn't necessarily resolve the pain of unfulfilled desire in this moment, but it does soothe your soul with the understanding that if you feel denied, it is only so that your fulfillment can come about in a more extraordinary and generous expression in due course. Ooh. Okay, so there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope you guys have a great Monday and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.